Hello everybody, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Joystick and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can configure Control My Joystick to work with Dota 2. And uh, so this is basically a scroll around kind of game where you get to control a character and uh, I have it configured here and I'm just going to show you in a moment how we configure it. But uh, I'm able to use this uh, 3D Connection Space Mouse Pro and um, I use this for a lot of my gaming with Control My Joystick and I'm just going to scroll around here. I'll scroll to the left, to the right, up, down. So you can see we've basically mapped the axis inputs from this controller through Control My Joystick and then back into Dota 2. Uh, Dota 2, um, the way it's configured now on my machine, is also set to uh, work with keyboard commands. So uh, it's, it's the usual W goes up us down a to the left and D to the right we've basically used the digital joystick emulation within control my joystick to do the same thing okay so let's see how this is done I'm gonna just bring up control my joystick and here I have a uh, some blue kind of theme on here right now I've set it to uh, stay on top and I have it set for a new profile I created called Dota 2 Wind Ranger. Now the character I'm using here is the Wind Ranger. And um, this one right down here. And you know the mappings that you have for one character could be a little bit different than you have for another character. So you can have Dota 2 Wind Ranger. Another one, uh, you could like duplicate this profile and uh, name it something else for a different character if you like. And uh, so what I've done here, if I go under 3DXWare, I have configured the rotation X and rotation Y axis on the controller to simulate key presses of W, S, A, and D. The rotation around the Y axis, the Y axis goes this way on the controller. So rotating it goes this way or this way. So if I go to the left, you'll see the controller indicator up here that shows the axis rotator on Y. And it's into negative, rotate Y into positive territory, and then back to zero. So we're saying here with a digital uh, joystick uh, enabled that whenever the value of the uh, rotational Y axis goes negative, we're going to send an A, a stream of A's to the game. And whenever it goes positive, we'll do D's. I'm just going to double click on this axis here and take a look at the curve. Now we don't really have any particular kind of curve here at all. In fact, the curves we normally use for, for analog joystick uh, situations. But here, since we're using digital, also wants a dead zone, say about 200. And I've enabled the digital and said that whenever it goes negative, use an A. Whenever you use positive, you use a D. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So this is rotation on the x-axis, and that's the axis that goes this way. So any rotation this way or back, like this, is rotation around the x-axis. And here I've also enabled the digital joystick emulation, and we've set it up for W and S. And I'll just double click, look at digital. Negative is W, positive is S and we have a 200 dead zone. And you can set that dead zone for whatever value you like. Basically the dead zone is to ensure that if you're just lightly touching the control stick, uh, that it's not moving around at all. You'd have to put a little effort into it to move it. So I just have it set to 200 on this. So I'm just going to uh, bring this over here and click on the background and try moving around and you see that works. And it's important that when you configure your game initially, Try to do it in windowed mode. So I've launched Dota 2 in windowed mode, and uh, that makes sure that you know when you put this control my joystick to uh, stay on top, that uh, you're able to easily make changes and control my joystick, and then see the changes in the game. But you need to remember that if I was to say click on the control my joystick app and this application now has focus. It's, it's the active application. So if I move the stick around, nothing happens to the game itself because the inputs are only being sent to the active application. So if I click on the background here, so I've clicked on the game, now move the controller around and they're sent to the active application, which is now Dota 2. Okay, 
So let's see what else we can do to set this up. Now, um, this particular character here is going to have four spells. And number one, two, three, and four. And those are assigned to hotkeys one, two, three, and four. And so what I've done here is I've set the buttons on the controller to be mapped to those. So uh, if you just look at the controller here, you'll see that there is a key one, two, three, and four. And that's what's nice about the Space Mouse Pro is you got these really nice, easy buttons up top here. So if I want to press the one button, I want this little spell thing to fire here. And uh, so what I've done here is I created a macro for it and uh, it is called Shackle Shot. And any time that this button uh, is pressed, this keyboard text is going to be sent to the game. So this macro has a trigger of this button. When the button is pressed, the, the number one is sent to the game, and which is the same as pressing one on the keyboard. Okay, so uh, let's see how we can create that from scratch. So uh, I'm just gonna delete it, create a new macro, and I'll call it this. I'm gonna add a trigger, key combo. So you can press any combination of keys, but in this case, I'm just gonna press one key right there. Script, I'm gonna add a keyboard text, number one, and okay. So let's give this a try. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And um, I need to go find a, an enemy here. <laughs> And I'll try one more. There, it worked. Nice. I'm always getting my ass kicked with this Moon Ranger. Okay, but point being that uh, this button uh, did activate the spell. Now there's some other things we can do, and maybe from time to time you want to see the scoreboard. Uh, what I've done here as well is mapped a button to bring up the scoreboard. And right now I've got it um, set up for the the P button, so I'm gonna press it down in the game. When you do that, it shows the scoreboard, release it, it brings, uh, removes the scoreboard. So to do that with control my joystick, we're basically going to have a button, which is a trigger. And um, so that is the top button, which is over on this side here, V3DK top. Whenever this trigger is detected, it's gonna fire this scoreboard macro, which is gonna send the letter P for five seconds. That's 5,000 milliseconds, it's gonna hold it. So it's a little bit different than doing it from the keyboard. So let's give it a try. So I'll click on the game, press this. Now it's sending it basically a keystroke uh, down for five seconds and then up. So I'll try it again, down and up. So you could set that duration or whatever you like. Now, if you wanted here, you could also do it by voice. So I'm gonna go voice and uh, just have the, the word or phrase, a scoreboard. It's gonna do the same thing. Now I have the voice enabled, but I have to say the word computer first before it will be uh, detected. So I'm just gonna move that and this and bring up the voice. And it shows now that there is a valid voice command here. And you'll see that when it detects it, uh, it'll jump the selection directly to it. Computer, scoreboard. There we go. So, um, but it didn't fire. Let's try. So let's give it a try. I'll click on the game. Computer, scoreboard. So now it is running the macro. It'll hold it for five seconds. I'll try it again. Computer, scoreboard. Okay, so that is running. So you're basically able to set most of the controls uh, within Dota 2 uh, in Control My Joystick. And the main thing I, f I find is to have the main spells handy with the different buttons. And uh, then 
uh, to also use the controller to move around. Otherwise, really, I'm using the keyboard, and I find that to be a little bit less comfortable on my wrist. So there you go. That's how you set up uh, Control My Joystick with Dota 2. Have fun.